Hello, everybody, and welcome to the new office. Up until very recently, it was a very temporary setup with like an Amazon desk, cables just all over the place, no management whatsoever. But now that the old house is sold, I was like, okay, it's time to make it more of a proper, nice looking office. So I'm going to show it to you today. This is where I stream and make YouTube videos and make videos about me making YouTube videos. I decided instead of doing a custom desk build out like I did at the old house, I would just buy two of the same desk and put them together in kind of an L or a T shape and it sort of mimics the shape that I had with the custom build out at the old place except for much cheaper and without having to displace me elsewhere while the whole desk is constructed. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it's a nice looking desk and it has storage on top of the closet space that's really messy, but I'll show it to you anyway, I guess. I guess that part's not finalized in the office, but it'll be a work in progress for a while. Anyway, we have the same triple monitor setup as before, except now it's on a clamped triple monitor stand. When I posted a photo of this on Twitter showing, hey, here's the new desk, people were like, oh my God, your monitor is off the side. You're gonna bump it. It's gonna fall over. You're making me so nervous. No, this is a light stand. The monitor is attached to a central triple mount. It is a little bit wobbly, admittedly, but this is not just gonna fall on to the floor randomly if I bump into it. If I bump into it, it will probably just pivot the entire thing and it'll be kind of a mess and I hope to not actually do that. But it's secure and it's good other than the slight <laughs> wobbliness of the, the whole thing. But that's, I think that's more of a function of the fact that, you know, it's instead of a built-in desk, it's a freestanding desk. Also, it's the carpet and instead of a concrete slab with tile, it's like a wooden, you know, framing and it's just, everything's slightly more wobbly here than at, at the old house. It's just the nature of, of the game. Let's go around the other side because I decided to do some adjustments to kind of the lighting setup in here in the hopes of being able to have more flexible options for how I look and am chroma keyed depending upon the kind of game that I'm playing. So first thing, this is a new green screen. Well, I've had it for a bit, but I just put it in. It works now really well that I have the black headset with the previous blue A40s. I would kind of blend in because it's a slightly more blue shade of the green than my previous green screen. But this thing overall is far cooler. It's from a company called Sub2R, of which disclosure, I am a shareholder and looks like a normal green screen. However, there is a remote. It's plugged in in the back and I can turn it on. And this allows you to have a very clean chroma key as it's backlit, even if I have none of my lights turned on right now. So I could even be kind of in darkness and the chroma key in OBS would still work very well. So it can be kind of like spooky and dark for, I don't know, a horror game or something like Lethal Company, which I've been doing recently. Although with Lethal Company, what I'll do is I'll turn on just the center Logitech Lytra Beam. Shout out to Logitech with the sponsor as well. And I can just click the button, turn on the center one, and then it's kind of a harsher illumination just like here, but, but it can look spooky if I, you know, adjust the gain in the settings of the webcam, all that. So it gives me a little bit more flexibility. And then if I want to do like the full on normal lighting for, you know, Minecraft video or something like that, I can do Alexa, turn on the stream lights, and then the other lights will come on and then we get the full brightness of everything. And so it gives me just a little bit more adjustability in the lighting situations and stuff. And I'm very happy with it. I think it's really cool. Turn off the stream lights and then off and then off. And we're back to baseline. And I probably look much, much dimmer now. 
And then I could turn off the, the overhead lights as well. So much flexibility. These seem to mess with the frame rate on the camera and cause weird interpolation black lines when shooting. Definitely haven't had to reshoot this because of that. Um, anywho, I also have the fancy camera in a more uh, uh, accessible, good angle place now versus at the old office. And so I can kind of switch between this and the uh, the webcam, the Logitech webcam, as desired, and uh, it's nice. And also, <laughs> because of the size of the new green screen, the AGS, which if you're interested in the AGS, I'll link it below. Um, I now can just entirely look like I'm in a green void when I do the straight to webcam vlogs on the fancy camera, which is kind of a cool effect. Anyway, the other desk over there is a printer, modem, router, the usual stuff. But I did decide to, you know, display the 1 mil old play button, the 10 million. I swear the 10 million is not dusty. It's just like the thing is a magnet for stuff. It's, see, it's not dusty. <laughs> Proof. I tried dusting it. It's just like it needs a full wash in detail or something. Like when I have someone over to wash a car, I need to be like, can you also clean the play button for me? Cause I don't, anyway, I would hang it on the wall, but there's like very minimal space for me to actually get the sound deadening panels on the wall to reduce echo. So I've decided to just, you know, make full use of that. I've also, it's not like the best looking uh, uh, thing here, but I, I have the, just the foam panels leaning up against the windows, there are blinds that can come down and those would kind of deaden the sound as well. But there have been studies that show that even if you're not touching grass, if you are seeing naturey things and grass and stuff like that, that <laughs> this is not gonna it look didn't good. Work. If you were if you were seeing naturey grass stuff, it is supposed to like put you in a better headspace. So rather than shutting the blinds, I've decided to keep them open, even though it makes the lighting kind of change throughout the day going into the night. But that means I put the, lean the panels against the glass to deaden the sound rather than having the glass cause more echo. So now the best looking thing ever, but I get to see grass. <laughs> Bruh. Okay, back to the technology. Anyway, I think I am most proud of the cable management and organization here, which I'm sure somebody is gonna be like, you did a terrible job, but you know what? I think it's nice because there isn't any sort of like place to, to put the cables through the desk. It's not covered on the back. So I had to do what I could in order to make it look nice, despite the fact that the cables would be exposed going from the monitors and the lights and the camera into, there is a cable organization cubby in the desk, which is why I got this desk. But we have a nice Velcro zip tied chungus of cable that feeds into the cable cubby. And then, again, this is why I got the desk. I can open this up and then we have access to the power strips, USB hub, all of the cables. It, actually doesn't look awful in there. It's not as much of a rat's nest as maybe I thought it would. Not that it's pretty or anything, but that's why I can then just close it up and not have to see it. And then the cables come out of the bottom and then they route on over to the wall plugs or to the PC. And then I have another cubby that's just on the other desk. You can't really see because it's shoved up against the wall, but I put all of the, uh, modem and router and printer and all that stuff into there before getting it scooted into place. And then the other desk put up against it. So basically I can't access that. I can make no changes to any of the cable wiring over on that side. So let's hope nothing needs to be changed. Otherwise everything has to be moved, which will not be fun. I, I don't know how I'm managing to make a tour of what is a, a fairly confined room uh, so long, but 
we have a closet as well, which it, it's not like super great. I want to make this kind of a hybrid between storage and also showcasing things like uh, play buttons and the hippie livery special Xbox and trophies and memorabilia, but also storage of things and just a place to put things that I don't know where to put everywhere else. The PC that I started making YouTube videos on that I definitely still have because uh, I wanted to keep it for that reason and not that I just have never bothered to do something. But then Baby Yoda and MCC TwitchCon crown and stuff. It's a little bit of everything all mixed together. Oh, one more thing that... Okay, so the... Having carpets, like, or at least just this carpet in particular, I, I suffer, okay? So anything that is on this carpet, if you stand on it, if you interact with it, it starts to slowly move, move and shimmy across the floor. It's infuriating. So <laughs> this mat to try to protect the, the the carpet from getting wrecked by the wheels on the chair over time because it will do that it will as i'm sitting as i get on and off this thing will just slowly move back until it hits the wall starts to damage the floorboard digging into it curling up it's it's just a mess so what i have had to do here is i have tied they are taut dude these things are like huge pounds of force just pulling on the desk. It has moved. This desk, which is a heavy desk, and then it has all the equipment on it, it has moved, it has pulled the thing over. There used to be no gap between the two desks. There is a gap now between the two desks as this is yanked, and there's nothing I can do about it. There's nothing. If I get one that has the, like, the, the spikies into the carpet, it will t bunch itself up I don't know what, I don't, there's no solution other than, like, not having this carpet in here. <sighs> anyway, I, I had other l less significant ropes around this thing before. They broke. It just snapped after a certain amount of time. I'm sure that over time, these desk legs are going to have, like, they're gonna, they're gonna have a ring around them where the force of the rope has, like, just worn away the wood over time. That is the only problem with this place. Other than that, it's very nice. <laughs> and now you have learned all the quirks and features of my office. Shout out Doug DeMuro. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in future videos.